guys, my name is Jada. Today I'm gonna talk about my Apple Watch Series 4. Did I pronounce correct? Series. Yeah. Mainly what I'm gonna talk about is the four features that I like the most of my Apple Watch Series 4. This is the first Apple Watch that I ever bought in my life. I bought this a month ago, like a couple of days before the Series 5 was launched. And actually, to be honest, I'm still learning. Even though I'm not an expert to review on something yet, or maybe never will be. But anyway, I basically just wanted to talk about what features are there, why it's good to have, and can it really make your life easier and more productive. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, first thing first guys, the spec of my Apple Watch right here. Oh my god, the box is really dirty. Just ignore that. And let me do unboxing. Oh my gosh, look at that. So beautiful, right? Yeah, for the adapter, I bought this in Singapore. So yeah, it doesn't fit my country or in the United States. So there are two straps inside, two bands inside. One is a small one, the other one is the big one, but I normally use a small one. And there's an instruction. Let me show you how to put in the strap and take it out. First, you push the little small square there, thin square, can you see that? And then you just slide it out. And you just do the same way to put it back. You can change the view style to either grid view or list view by pressing the screen at the home menu. When you scroll down, you can see any notifications that you got, like that. It's very simple. And when you scroll up, you can change or you can set up to different mode. And the app compatibility is very amazing. Let me show you how it is. The first application that I want to show you is the podcast. Once I press the play button on my iPhone, you can see the screen is popped up on my Apple Watch and vice versa. And let me go to the music application. And the next application that I frequently use is Activity. You can check the Activity log on your Apple Watch, but I prefer to check it out on my iPhone because it lets you compare the documented record of your movement day by day, week by week, or month by month. It keeps you being more consistent with your workout plan. The next is my favorite feature, workout! And actually, I think I use my Apple Watch the most effectively when I do workout. <laughs> when you scroll down, you can see a lot of workout, like many various different kinds of workout. After you touch the workout that you're gonna do, it will start in 3 seconds. And once it started, it will start to track of your BPM and how much calories you burned and how long you did workout. And if you don't have any movement, then it will automatically be stopped. The next one is Siri. I was impressed by how accurate the Siri's dictation is. Let me just set an alarm just to show you how it is. Set an alarm. For what time? 2.42 p.m. Okay, here's your alarm. And the next one is Messenger. I normally use iMessage and Kakatalk, which is Korean messenger application. And I'm gonna send one emoji to my mom. Besides that emoji, you can actually record and write what you want to send on your Apple Watch. 
you can just do anything. Maybe not anything, but yeah. This is the Habit Minder application that I downloaded on my iPhone. And the screen that you are looking at right now is called the watch face. You can add or delete the watch face designs on your iPhone. You can customize your watch face design by pressing customize on your Apple Watch. When the screen is popped up like that, you can start to customize it by rolling up and down the crown. Once you've done customizing, then you just press the crown and then that's it. 46. Good afternoon. If you want to add the watch face design, then you just go to watch on your iPhone and you press face gallery, the middle one, and you will see tons of designs. I'm gonna add numerals duo. You will see it's installed and boom. And the last one that I want to talk about is the control center. Just in case you forgot where you put your iPhone, which is I do all the time, <laughs> you just press that icon and boom. You can edit the arrangement of the control center. There's many um, mode. I mean, like there's a silent mode, do not disturb mode, airplane mode. Um, there's a theater mode and waterlock mode. About the waterlock mode, once you press it, then it's just locked. It's just freezed like that, so you cannot do anything. If you are swimming or if you are around the water, it's a very convenient function. I really love this. To unlock it, you can just roll up the crown until it's unlocked. So yeah! This was it for today. Mm, I've never had any Apple Watches in my life and actually this is the first smartwatch that I have that I ever had in my life. For those who are hesitating to buy Apple Watch, I would say go for it. Just get one for yourself. You should experience how it is with the Apple Watch. It's probably not a necessary thing though. It definitely makes your life easier and more productive. It makes you consistent with something like, for example, exercise. I really feel like I have an assistant. I maybe need to have a name for this, maybe? Anyway, I highly recommend for you to get one because it's really worth it. Anyway, yeah, the video was end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video was helpful at least, even if it's a little bit. Anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching and if you liked my video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!